Hi guys, so let's um, jump into some more information about acids and bases and let's specifically talk about conjugate acid-base pairs which is kind of a prelude to talking about acid-base equilibria and kind of a mixture of talking about equilibrium systems which um, we should have already kind of encountered at some point. So remember again that an acid is a proton donor and a base is a proton acceptor when we're talking about this system. So in an acid-base equilibrium, both the forward reaction, so the reaction moving to the right, and the backwards reaction, the reaction moving to the left, involve proton transfer. So here I have a basic example of kind of an acid-base equilibrium problem. Um, so we have HX here representing our proton donor and water representing our proton acceptor. The double-headed arrows right, indicate that this is an equilibrium. So the black arrow indicates the forward reaction. The blue arrow represents the backwards reaction. And so the products of this would be X minus is our proton acceptor and H3O plus as our proton donor. So what happened in the forward reaction is here, um, water abstracted this proton, giving us X minus and H3O plus. Going in the backwards reaction, X minus abstracted the proton from H3O plus to make H2O and HX. Okay, so you might need to take some time to look at this separately to um, convince yourself of that. But here I have it written again that for the forward reaction, the HX acted as the proton donor or the acid and water acted as the proton acceptor or the base. And then for the backward reaction, X minus acted as the acceptor or the base and the hydronium ion H3O plus acts as the donor um, or the acid. So when you have in a system um, an acid and a base that differ only in the presence or the absence of a proton, we call those a conjugate acid base pair. So the sample I just showed you in that um, particular instance, depending on which direction you were looking at the equation, the acid is HX and then its conjugate base is X minus. So every acid has a conjugate base that's formed by removal of the proton. Okay, so again, in the previous example, X minus is the conjugate base of the acid HX. And then similarly, every base has a conjugate acid that's formed by adding a proton. So again, in, this, in the previous example, HX would be the conjugate acid of the base X minus. So here's another simple equation. So we can just kind of um, actually put in some molecules and see how it works. So we have NH3 ammonia acting as a base and it has these lone electron, this lone electron pair. And we have water acting as an acid and forming um, an ammonium ion, NH4 plus and um, OH minus. And so in this case, ammonia is the base Water acts as an acid. Um, ammonium is the conjugate acid of the base ammonia, right? So this lone um, pair removes a proton from water. So we have the addition of a proton to make the ammonium ion, so to make the conjugate acid of ammonia. And then water um, is the acid in this case. And so it, when the proton is removed, becomes um, OH minus the conjugate base. So the stronger the acid, the weaker the conjugate base, and the stronger the base, the weaker the conjugate acid. If you kind of think about that, that makes sense because you can't have something being just as good at donating a proton as it is at receiving it. Otherwise, your system would kind of fall apart. And that's the basis of um, acid-base conjugate pairs.